Hello everyone, welcome to this week's video. I am going to be giving you a definitive surefire guide of how to become a hermit crab. Yes, I know this is what you've all been waiting for. It's what the internet really needs right now. And uh, let's get to it. Number one, you actually need to be more lobster than crab because hermit crabs are actually more closely related to lobsters than they are crabs. So, to be a hermit crab, you need to be less crabby. Number two, you need to stay in touch with your soft side. Hermit crabs don't actually have their own protective carapaces, which basically means that they have a nice squishy body and it's not protected from predators whatsoever. So they utilise the empty shells of uh, other organisms such as little and snails and whelks to live in them, which is where they get their name hermit crabs from. There is no limit really to what shell they use, um, except if they, when they get too big they uh, bump up and find a new shell to upgrade to. You really can find hermit crabs living in any type of shell. They, from t little tiddly ones to big giant shells. Three, be your own real estate agent. For a species that doesn't want to waste its energy producing its own shell for protection, and well, who can blame them? Because actually, it sounds quite a savvy way to utilize the energy of something else that's made the shell and just move in after they've spent all of their time making it. Um, but for someone that doesn't produce their own shell, hermit crabs are particularly picky about what shells they go for. Studies have shown that weight, volume and aperture, which is the size of the hole where the body will poke out, all factor in to the choice of a hermit crab shell. If you regularly visit somewhere that has a lot of hermit crabs on the rocky shores, then you'll probably at some point be lucky enough to spot a hermit crab checking out a new shell. You can kind of tell it's going to go for it because they kind of fuss and faff around another shell that it's not in. And if you wait patiently and don't disturb them while they're doing it so that you don't look like a threat, you'll get to see a hermit crab jump out of its shell and into uh, its new one and see if it likes it or not. I was super excited when I saw this one um, checking it out and then running away from the, the shell that it picked. It was far too small for it. Um, it made me laugh that it had tried to get into that shell to start with. But it, it, yeah, it's something that's really cool to see and then you can see the actual shape of a hermit crab. The, the fact that their body is curled and it will curl around the the inside of the shell and that you can see that it's soft it's just really anatomically interesting um to see the entirety of a hermit crab where normally you only just see the claws and if you're lucky the eyes poking out of its shell number four fight for your home hermit crabs may seem lovely and there seems to be especially in where i go rock pooling lots of hermit crabs living in the same rock pool and they seem to be getting on pretty well well actually if a hermit crab has a very nice shell that another hermit crab wants they will actually fight to get the other uh, hermit crab out of their shell so if you want to be a hermit crab you are going to have to be willing to fight for your perfect home Number five, you need to not be fussy with any of your food. Hermit crabs are omnivorous scavengers, which means they eat anything and everything they can find, from weird bits of crab legs that have been left around, to seaweeds, to, what well, I've run out of things that I can think of, but you get what I mean. They will eat anything that they can find. Number six is very important to me, <laughs> and really silly, you have to be called Bernard. If you want to be a hermit crab, then either you're going to have to be named Bernard, or you're going to have to be called Bernard. Because the Latin name for a common hermit crab in the UK is Pagarus Bernhardus. And when I had to learn lots and lots of Latin names of species, the, re the way I remember this, and the way I always remember this, is I just called every hermit crab Bernie or Bernard. So if you want to become a hermit crab, um, I'm making it an official rule that you you need to be called Bernard because you, otherwise you mess with my system of remembering and that's just not okay. 
And lastly, number seven, be bold, colourful and charismatic. These are awesome little additions to Rocky Shores. As a kid or having kids, I'm sure you'll see the excitement when anyone finds a hermit crab. They have this shell for protection, which means they will zip inside, but they're also quite brazen animals and... I think because they know they've got their shell for protection, they will be out and about and scavenging in the open for you to see when you go rock pooling. And you're able to look at them and they're all different colours. Their smaller ones seem to be more bluey and then they've got beautiful reds in their claws. And if you're lucky enough to wait for their eyes to pop out, they have these really funny looking eyes uh, with gorgeous different colourings. So if you want to be a hermit crab, then embrace your colourful ways, embrace uh, the home and the shell that you have made and be charismatic because I'm pretty sure that no one has ever had a bad word to say about hermit crab and that if you see them they will capture your hearts so that is the final rule of becoming a hermit crab.